In this video, I'm going to highlight different combo strings of the new Double Moon Sword Fading Blossom healer weapon in Naruto Tiboruto Shinobi Striker, showing you different ways how to combo with this thing, combo cancels, how to connect different combos with each other, what kind of crazy DPS it has and much more. And I even brought you 4 other amazing content creators to react to these new combos and give their thoughts on the new weapon maybe, so make sure to show some love in the comments for them and check out their channels, they are really doing some dope stuff and I think they deserve a bit more attention. I personally really enjoy their content. Now without any further ado, here's our first guest. Yo what is good everyone, my name is Hiroto Uzumaki and I came here to react to some banger builds made by my guy Sensei Boba, so you know what, let's jump straight into it. I need Boba to show me how good and powerful this weapon is because I haven't played with it and oh my god that was amazing that Tsukuyomi was on point bro uh, and I can see that the movements on this weapon is kind of similar with the double moon sword on the defense class so that is a good addition to the heal class having this weapon there we go go for the Tsukuyomi and wait for the finish boom that's what I'm talking about let me see this build oh there we go stun him with the shadows and oh my god look at that damage Oh, that was one shot. That was clearly a one shot. That was amazing, bro. Look at the look at the damage it does when you when you stun your opponents with the shadows. That is amazing. Let me see. Okay, the slug. Okay, the Biako gun. Oh, okay. Oh, he can't move. I didn't even know you can do that. I legit didn't know you can do that, bro. Oh my god, that build was amazing. Another slug build. Let's see. Biako gun and oh, yo, this is devious. This is like oh my god, this is evil. Sensei Boba got that evil build. Oh my god, I didn't even know you can stun your opponents in the slug. Oh my god, that damage was crazy. Okay, let's see. Okay, we, we got another slug build. Okay, okay, I see you Boba, I see you. Oh my god, yo, oh, the damage is crazy. Yo, having this weapon on the healer class seems like a, I don't know, like an illegal thing to have. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Holy shit, bro, nothing can come close to this weapon. Okay, let me see. We have another another stun build. Oh, the rockets go crazy. That's a that's a good addition. And oh my god, look at how how Boba is circling our opponents, bro. Like he's just weaving them around and hitting them when they cannot even see him. Look at this. Look at the combos on this weapon. He's dead, bro. He's dead. Boom. There we go. Sliced him up. All right. What do we have here? Oh, okay. Okay. I see you, Boba. Boom, stun him so we can keep him on his feet. Uh, so if you notice, Boba doesn't let his enemies fall to the ground because if they do fall to the ground, the combo is ruined and uh, the combo is cancelled. Basically, he needs to keep his enemies on their feet so he can continue his combo. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh my god. Oh, that kunai was perfect. That kunai was legit perfect, bro. I love that build. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him cook. Oh my god. Yo, that was crazy. Nah, this might be the best healer weapon I've seen in this game, bro. Yes, sir. I poked the healer. I appreciate everybody coming to the channel. I appreciate Sensei Bobo for giving me an opportunity to check out these combos firsthand. Oh my goodness. With the pickup, the earth release bullet into the pickup. Hey, yo, the stun is so long on that. And they finally gave a double move sword with a stun, bro. The pickup. Oh my god, the flip kick into the suit. Yo, Limbo border. Where are you going? What the? Pick up, pop, pop. Oh, disgusting. What? That stun is beautiful. Cancel. Rasengan Ninja Tool, my favorite Ninja Tool in the game. You don't know. So much damage. Oh, until so kill me. Yo, this weapon is disgusting. That yo, that guard break is amazing. Square triangle. Uh, with the flip. Suki on me. Oh my good man, this is crazy. Was that a was that a cancel in the middle? One two. That stun is beautiful. With the pick back up. Oh my good the height. Yo, the hit count is so high. Bar break. Uh, shadow stitch, you know that's big damage. One two. Yeah. Damn. But he didn't even have to use. Ugh. What? Two. Pick up. Uh, what? So much damage. Yo, that stun is so long. Oh my goodness. Pick up. One, two, three. Hey, yo, man, this is man. Sensei Boba. Hey, yo. Hey, Sensei Boba. I appreciate giving me the opportunity just to. Yo, lightning release. Bro, if y'all know me, y'all know I'm a combo god. 
the sensei boba is putting the fingers on you hey yo guard break yo that square triangle is so beautiful another triangle into the slug is whoa is he stuck he's not moving no sir sensei boba no you cannot put this out you cannot show the community this tech and no sir is he locked he's not look at the damage look at the damage no sir oh my goodness pick up chris and Trizzle. oh he's that damn that triangle do so much damage oh uh, flip up like the release from back uh, uh, two. Oh my goodness the damage is so crazy on this weapon that guard break is crazy pick up hey Chris and Jizzle, hey, yo, the jump over the slug is crazy. What's up again, you guys? It's your boy, Elite Shinobi. I appreciate Boba for having me once again. Now, you're looking for amazing Shinobi Striker gameplay, and I'm your guy for it. So, definitely take some time and check my channel out, man. All right, so let's get into this amazing weapon right here and the amazing user, man. Oh, my God, this weapon is fire. And Boba definitely took the time to bring out the best in this weapon right here. So, I know when I use it, I know what I'm looking for and the kind of damage i'm trying to put out yes sir this weapon i feel like is bringing a different style to the healer name and i feel like this weapon is needed just to you know shake it up a little bit man look he hit him with the lightning style had him stunned on the ground i do not have that ninja tool but i definitely do want it because i can clearly see that their weapon combos so well with that ninja tool is crazy like look at this he literally finished off minato with ease hit him with the crimson drizzle like oh my goodness knock him in the sky Hit him with the ninja tool. You see, it's so it's so smooth. Like it just flows. Like there's no struggle in that battle right there. Like as soon as you learn that that stun in the air is wrapped. You know, we got a different combo variant right here with the with the same ninja tool. Like it's it's just going crazy. Like the the weapon itself and the speed is like unmatched. But he's working with something crazy right here. Like he has him stunned right here, sitting on a snail, and you know, you know he's about to go crazy. Like, look at this, bro. He's literally running into him with the dog. Oh my god, like, bro, bro. I would be so mad in the pit if I got finished off with that. Like, I don't know. But this one right here, I can see that the calm is moving. So maybe you could have got out of it. I don't know. But either way, you still probably would have died eventually. Okay, so for this one right here, he started off with the normal common strings of the weapon. Hit him with the lightning and then hit him with the lava, bro. That's pretty simple, you know what I'm saying? But for this one right here, that one was pretty smooth, man. I did not expect something like that from that weapon, man. Like, he had him in the air and then hit him with the lightning. Kind of like the same variation of the last one he just did, but goodness he just was moving at the speed of light wasn't he i don't know if that's the alt that provides that kind of speed but goodness bro okay so he got the buff from the byakugan and then he just finished him off like oh my god like sakura is about to get bullied right now she don't even know it like stop it bro fight back hit him with the lightning and it's over that was definitely a smooth finish but this weapon is definitely a plus bro i support everything they just did with this one did you know that shark meat is very unhealthy, but Boba's eating piece made like he's Jaws in human form? I mean, seriously, he even put him to sleep, gave him some time to rest, just to chop him up like he's serving him as a deep fry at your local Captain D's. Boba is a chef. He flipped Kisume in the air to hit him with a ground pound, just to hit him a couple more times and then finish him off with a Rasengan. After serving fish, he put Sasuke on his knees because he's going to have to tell a prayer before he goes to sleep. After thrashing Sasuke hard enough in his cranium to make sure he's brain dead enough to go to sleep, Boba and his clones haunt Sasuke in his dreams. Boba made sure that Zabaza felt this double blue sword fading blossom cut deeper than any blade he possibly ever felt. And no, he is not done with Zabaza. You think he's going to make us forgive you for what you've done to Haku, our childhood crush? Hit him with a cooling breeze, activate the Byakugan, then cut up his chakra point some more so we can really feel it this time. How about we make the Itachi Glazers angry real quick while Boba paddles his behind? Adult Sakura beats any version of Itachi. Debate it in Boba's comment section. And then Boba goes up against the copycat ninja who clearly can't copy these hands because he's clearly getting beat up right now. He's like, uh, it's the 
Takashi Sensei reporting in that I'm getting my booty taken by a man named Sensei Boba. I need all the shinobi to back me up right now. Now it's time to combo Barto, Boruto, Burrito, Booty Ho, whatever. It doesn't matter. He's getting his ass beat. You're not time to get Boruto. You're getting handled to Even if you was time to get Boruto, you're getting your ass beat. Boba drizzles on Kakashi's crimson and then hits him with a slice and then Azula's flames and then and then slices and dice and puts his body into numbers like he's rolling some dice. Since we're talking about numbers, Killer B's last rap album was so bad he barely did any numbers. Boba had to release his frustration out on B for dropping some shit, dropping trash, and kill him. And I know every single slice with that double moon sword was stinging like a bee. Boba's going back to Sasuke and slapping him with his slug. The emo is crying right now. He's getting cut up. I'm pretty sure he already cuts himself enough. Why do you have to do it to him, Boba? Why? Right here, Boba does some things that I've never even seen before in the game. Like, what is this? And then he ends up putting him to sleep and then slices and dices and dices and slices again. Like, how? How do you do this? Boba then puts Kawaki in some glamoring flames and it reminds Kawaki of when he was a test subject for Jigen. A horrible time. And that's exactly what we want to do to people like Kawaki. Boba has a gift for Abito, and that's called the Simp Drizzle. But then he falls along with some Simp Slices. And then he ends up with him with the Simp Release Bullet. And Boba did not want to touch Obito with his real fist, because Simp is contagious, so he hit him with the anti-Simp Fist. Flurry! Sakamaru comes toward Boba, but Boba ejaculates onto him. He puts nine extra holes into his body, then follows up with many more. With the way he was slicing them up, he probably has some holes in his socks, and probably some more extra holes in his drawers, too. If you don't want to end up like this, just don't have a health bar, because you if you have a health bar, you have to die.